And Premier Li, along with all Chinese civil servants, are getting pay raises this year. That's according to the newspaper China Daily. It's the first time the government is raising salaries since 2006. And the report says China has decided to adjust compensation because more of public employees are leaving due to the low pay. Now, national level officials will get a 60% increase in pay. Still, to put things in perspective, Chinese officials get way less than the American counterparts. For example, President Xi Jinping will get paid a little over $20,000 this year. That's compared to President Barack Obama's $400,000. All right, well, Beijing's tougher control over margin trading or borrowing money for investment tanked the market, including brokerage stocks on Monday. The market did recover on Tuesday, but what long-term impact will the enforcement of stricter rules bring to the A-share market and the securities industries? CCTV's Hao Hu Xiao Chen takes a closer look. Guotai Securities is one of the three big brokerage firms punished by the CSRC for rolling over some margin trading contracts, a violation of market rules. The company is now banned from opening new margin trading accounts for customers for the next three months. However, Yang Xiaolei, chief strategist at the Shanghai branch of Guotai Jing'an, says the regulatory move is unlikely to have a large impact on the company's profitability. It will have some impacts on our new business development, but not on the existing business, because we already have a big customer base with a substantial amount of assets to manage. Based on our own estimates, no more than 10 million yuan will be lost in the net profits because of the suspension over the next three months. The CSRC's decision has clearly caused short-term volatility in the market. However, heavyweight security firms plunged for two straight days. Experts say, however, the market was overreacting to the surprise news. In the medium or longer terms, I think uh, uh, this only uh, be good for the uh, market and good for the brokerage firms so that uh, uh, as long as uh, uh, the market and also financial institutions are operating uh, in a more uh, orderly fashion, then we're going to have more sustainable growth in the market instead of uh, big uh, ups and downs. China's margin trade almost tripled in 2014. Total outstanding loans extended by the brokerage firms were around 350 billion yuan at the beginning of last year, but then jumped to more than 1 trillion yuan by the year's end. Professor Yan says that's simply because it was a very lucrative business for brokerage firms, while Yang at Guota Jun'an says the business will wind up growing even bigger. After more regulations, the margin trading business will expand at a faster pace. If we compare it to overseas markets, the sector could grow at least two or three times bigger. The potential is huge. Industry insiders say the existing one trillion yuan worth of margin trading business is expected to generate 30 billion yuan of interest income plus 40 billion yuan of commission income for the brokerage firms each year. And these are just conservative estimates. Hu Xiaochen, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.